we've got a question from Colin who's been training jiu-jitsu for about a month. He started training with his friend from work and they've essentially been training the same amount of classes, same amount of time, same everything, but his friend seems to be grasping things better than he does, right? He says that for whatever reason, when it comes to rolling, when it comes to drilling the techniques, his friend seems to be absorbing the information much better than him, where he kind of feels like a bonehead. He feels like a slow learner over here and you know, and he's just not getting it. And so he's wondering if I have any advice on that or how to deal with that situation. And so brother, thank you for the question. So I have some, some feelings about this because I was where you were when I first started. When I first began Jiu Jitsu, I started training with my wrestling buddies, uh, in particular one of my friends, Mike, who was my best friend from high school. We wrestled together, we did everything together. And when we started Jiu Jitsu, I was in your situation. I felt like the slow learner compared to Mike. Because I remember for whatever reason, when we did our first competition, Mike immediately pulls spider guard and starts doing all this stuff off of his back. He's been wrestling for three years, but he's playing spider guard and then he slaps on triangle chokes. He's choking everybody out, wins first place, right? Me, on the other hand, I'm over here fighting for takedowns, doing sloppy guard passes. And I mean, my, I wish I had videos of this. I was doing key locks that were the ugliest key locks you've ever seen. My legs are flailing around in side control and somehow I get the submission. And then as soon as I got put on my back, I was, I was done, that was it. I got submitted really quickly. No more, no mas. And again, after the, the matches were over, our coach hands us a VHS tape, you know, that he got, he burned for us or recorded for us. And I remember watching our matches in comparison. Me, I was sloppy, doing all kinds of stuff. And Mike looked so smooth, right? He was transitioning from positions really well, considering he'd only been training for two weeks, right? I think he was a lot more naturally gifted toward Jiu Jitsu than I was. And I think this was for a number of different reasons. But again, getting into that situation, there were a number of things going on. One, mentally, he was okay with being the guard. I wasn't. The techniques that we'd been shown those two weeks, they were better for his body type than they were for me. When ha I started learning half guard and butterfly guard and things like that, the guard really started clicking for me. You know, there were other things going into it, but there was a lot of different issues going on there, and there's going to probably be the same thing for you. There's a myriad of different issues that are going to contribute to you being good or bad at jiu-jitsu, right? Or why your friend is getting better than you um, in the beginning. But here's the thing. You can sort of take this what you will, but you can use those negative feelings that you have about maybe being the slow learner, not being as good, and you can use them for something positive. So here's what I mean. The jiu-jitsu environment is very competitive. It just is. Even in my gym where we're having a hell of a time, we're having a good time, we're smiling, we're laughing, we're cutting up, it's competitive. Like one of my black belts, Nate, he just came down a couple weeks ago, comes into train, and he's coming at me. He wants to beat me. He wants to beat me, and he wants to see where he's at. He's testing himself against me. You know, when uh, one of my buddies came up from Florida, right? Same thing. He's coming up here. We're not. We're, we're having a good time. He's like staying at my house with me. We're having a blast. But when we're rolling, he's going out to beat me. When Adam, Adam, when Adam rolls with me, Adam tries to get after me. He tries to go for me, tries to get me, right? And again, we're always testing ourselves. It's this competitive environment that you have to have that healthy balance with you. There's a point where it could be toxic, but you've got to test yourself and it's competitive. And again, you use those people around you that beat you as motivation to like, all right, I'm gonna get better. And so here's what I would say to you. You can use this feeling of negative energy where you feel like you're a slow learner, you're not getting as good as your friend and all that stuff, and you can just feel, hum. You can feel bad about it, you know, like, uh, what is it, from Eeyore from uh, The Pooh, right? Oh, boy. Right, or you can say, you know what? You're getting better than me right now, but I'm going to be willing to work a little harder than you. You know, I'm going to start studying jujitsu instructionals. I'm going to start watching matches. I'm going to start training a little bit more. I'm going to start drilling a couple extra reps after classes. I'm going to do whatever I got to do, right? And that's what I ended up doing. So when I watched those videos of my friend getting really good, I was like, I got to work harder because I don't... I. It was just how it was. I didn't want my friend to get better than me, so I wanted to put in the time and get better, right? And this is the thing. I've seen so many students come into the jiu-jitsu over the years where like, I'll have one student within a month, he looks amazing. I'll be like, dude, this guy's got something special, right? He could really be something at this if he, if he sticks with it. But then I'll have someone come in who kind of just looks like they've got two left feet and they're flopping around all over the mat, and my thought is I really hope they stay with this, but. I don't think they're gonna get very good. And then it'll end up having this thing where the person with the talent f fizzles out, and the person that had to work their tail off gets really good because they were willing to put in a long-term, uh, consistent hard work over the long-term, right? And so with you. I think this video is all over the place, right? But again, there's a ton of different factors that could have led for you uh, not being as good as your friend right now. You've only been training for a month anyway, so you've only had like a little sliver of jujitsu. Give it some time. But 
use the feeling sometimes where you're kind of like down in the dumps about the fact that you're not better than your friend or your friend's better than you or whatever, and just work harder. Like be willing to use that energy, that negative energy to channel it to like get yourself up to go do the extra work that you need to do. When you get ready to say, you know what, man, I'm just gonna skip out a roll. You can say, well, you know, is he rolling? You know, do I want to get better? You know, and then push yourself. You know, or when you're sitting down and you can watch like, you know, you could sit there and scroll on Facebook, or you could say, you know, I'm gonna watch a match real quick just to sort of absorb some jujitsu while I'm sitting around at work or something like that. You know, just something like that. Simple stuff, but use that negative energy that you have to push you forward to put in more hard work consistently. And uh, I think you get the idea. So Cullen, hopefully that helps you, brother. Thank you so much for the question.